In this lab, you'll be determining the molecular weight of an unknown solid based upon a freezing point depression. First, the setup. Once you obtain a laptop and the proper cables and the LabQuest Mini and Temperature Probe, connect the USB cable to the computer, connect the other type side of the USB cable to the LabQuest Mini, and then connect the Temperature Probe to channel one. Once the computer is booted up, and drivers are installed, we can then launch the actual Logger Pro software. If everything is operational, you should be able to see the temperature in the bottom left hand corner. Setting up the software is done fairly easily. Click on the stopwatch. This opens the data collection window where it says 180 seconds, change to your desired time, typically 580. And where it says seconds per sample, you can change this to your desired time. We're typically using 10 to 15 seconds per sample. When completed, click the Done button. You are now ready to start part A of the lab, which is the determination of a freezing point of a pure solvent. Using the following procedure, you're going to want to obtain 10 milliliters of the solvent either by pipette or by burette and put this into your largest test tube. At this point, you're going to want to try to record all the pertinent information, the solvent being used, and if using a burette, the final and initial volumes. You're ready to collect your data. What you want to do is place the probe inside the test tube and then hit the collect button. At this point, take the test tube, submerge it into an ice bath, and gently stir. Uh, if it freezes solid, discontinue stirring, and complete the 580 seconds. Once you've recorded your data, it should look something like this. And you need to determine what the freezing point is of the actual sample that you collected here. Uh, what we're going to do is two linear fits, uh, one portion on the flat portion, you're going to highlight that as shown and then click the linear fit button. We can do the same thing with the initial part of the cooling curve, highlighting the initial part and then clicking that linear fit button. At this point, we want to know where these two functions intersect. We can use the interpolate function, which is in the analyze submenu, clicking on the interpolate slowly moving the mouse down, we can then intersect to obtain where the actual freezing point is of this sample. This will need to be done for every single trial that you do, uh, which will probably be at least two runs for each part. To complete another sample, you're going to need to melt your sample back up. There's no need to obtain another 10 milliliters of your solvent. Just place it in a hot water bath. In part B of the lab, we are going to determine the freezing point of a solution. We're going to do this by using 0.5 grams of an unknown, making sure to record the unknown number and the exact mass of the unknown used. This is then placed directly into the test tube and allowed to dissolve. Using a similar procedure, we then determine the freezing point of this mixture.